Hi, everybody. <clears throat> Welcome back to Story Time. We have a new book to read tonight, and it's by Miss Julie Sips. I hope I'm saying that right. <clears throat> we read a story that she wrote called I Am a Tree, and it's about the wonderful world of trees that she wrote. We read that on Monday. So I thought we would read Toonie the Cat Who Loved Music. And this is by Miss Julie. And I hope that you guys will enjoy this. And Miss Julie lives in Florida with her husband. There's Miss Julie. And they actually have two cats. One named Tabby and one named Taffy. And so, they are in the music, they were in the music business. She is a CPA, which means she likes numbers and math. So, let's all say our favorite little poem together. Let's gather our children and gather our blankets and our bears too. Hey, are you on? And let's all settle down because I have a story to read to you. Toonie, the cat who loved music. Do you have a cat? Do you like music? I love music. This is Toonie, the cat. Toonie is a baby kitten. She is only eight weeks old. She is very tiny. She can fit into the palm of your hand. She is very tiny. Toonie lives with Jim and Michelle, who have a music studio in their home. When Jim wants to see how much Toonie weighs, he puts her on a postal scale. A whopping two pounds, laughs Jim. That's very tiny. <gasps> Little Toonie, sorry, hold on, let me get where I can hold the phone. Little Toonie can hide in a very small places where bigger cats cannot. She's inside of a trombone there. She can jump and run and climb just like a big cat. Toonie can jump and climb up on almost all the furniture in the house. <sighs> but she is too small to jump on the high table in the living room. Instead, Toonie sits under the table and watches all the things that go on in the big room. Often, music fills the house from many musical instruments. And Jim and Michelle's music studio. One day, a little boy came over and blew into his trombone. The sound was so loud that it scared Toonie. She scooted out from under the table and ran away. As time went on, Toonie grew to love music. When it was time for a nap, Michelle would put on soft, pretty music. Toonie would stretch out, give a big kitty yawn, and fall asleep. Other times, there would be lovely music on the radio, lively music on the radio, and she would run and hop to the music. Music. 
every day Tooney sits in a chair in this shop and watches Jim fix the instruments. Sometimes Jim plays the instruments to test them. One time, Tooney sat on Jim's lap, I mean Jim's knee, as he played a flute. The sweet sounds of the flute lured her to sleep. Do you see the letter on top of Tooney's head? I do. When she's not watching Jim, Tooney likes to walk through the jungle of instrument cases. She peeps inside at all the different instruments. She sees big instruments like the trombone and saxophone and smaller instruments like the flute and clarinet. Some instruments are shiny and brassy. Some are silver. Some instruments have a few buttons. Others have lots of keys and buttons. <sighs> Toonie likes to rest under the table. When the children come by, Toonie listens to the different sounds they make with their instruments. Do you play an instrument? She likes to visit with the children. Sometimes they hold her. Then they leave, carrying their new instrument in their hand. Oh, how Toonie wishes she could play an instrument. Sometimes, when Michelle and Jim go out, they leave some of the instruments on the floor. Toonie taps some of the buttons and bows with her paw. No sound comes out. She can even stick her tiny head inside the bell of the trumpet, but she still can't find the music. So, the weeks go by, and Toonie watches the parade of children with their instruments. And she sits and watches Jim repair the instruments. And she dances and plays to the frisky music, or curls up and naps to the pretty songs on the radio. As time passed, Toonie grew bigger and bigger until one day she had grown big enough to jump up on that top on that high table in the living room. And what do you think she did? I'm sorry. And, and do you know what she found? The table was not really a table, but a beautiful piano. Have you ever played the piano? I played the piano, and when she walked and danced across the keys of the piano, she made music. Finally, Toonie found an instrument she could play. So now, when the children come to the studio, Toonie plays the piano for them, and when the children leave with their instruments, Toonie does not feel sad because now she can make music. The end. When I was growing up, I took piano lessons and my piano teacher, Miss Pamela Dean Thompson in Alabama, had always had at least one cat, if not two in the house and sometimes the cats would come in the middle of a lesson and just walk across the keys and of course we would both laugh and laugh sometimes they would jump up on the bench and then jump up on top of the piano just so they could you know feel the rhythm and feel the notes as each note was playing 
So do you have a cat? Or do you sing or play the piano? I also play the clarinet. Well, I'm so glad that you came by and spent some time with me. I hope you enjoyed Toonie the cat who loved music. And I know I can't wait to read our next book to you. And I know you can't wait to hear it again. So please come back and bring a friend. And I'll see everyone again really soon. Good night, everybody.